This week we arrive in Jerusalem. Listen to what Jesus says as he draws near to the city. As Jesus came near and saw the city Jerusalem, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. With that reading in mind, as you make your way through this week's readings, watch for certain words. Watch for words like see and recognize and look and hidden and even believe. There are many forms of, of blindness that you will come upon this week. The wealthy blinded by their possessions, the Pharisees blinded by their power, the people in the streets are blinded by their fear of the principalities who lord over them. Even the parables will speak of a certain kind of blindness like the the servant who is blinded by his ill-conceived expectations of a master. And in, in the middle of all of this, the disciples, with all that they have seen, are still unable to fully recognize Jesus for who He is. Judas is, is kind of blinded by his own zealous notion of, of how, how a real Messiah should act. Peter is blinded by his pride, and, and others simply fall asleep. And with all this, this, uh, these images of, of blindness, there are these incredible moments of, of clarity and awareness and recognition, often from the most unlikely people. There's my patron saint, Zacchaeus. There's the widow. There's the blind beggar. And if you will, if you will give me some sanctified imagination, there is Jesus himself who in the garden says, Thy will be done. And he is set and resolved and clear on who he is and where he's going. So as you, you read this week, maybe here are some questions for you to ponder. What keeps you from recognizing the presence and power of God that might be visiting you? How do you stay awake to the goodness of God in a world that is so seemingly full of bad news? How might these readings challenge you to more deeply seek and serve Christ in this world? Let us pray. Gracious Lord, open our eyes to behold Thy gracious hand in all Thy works, that rejoicing in Your whole creation we may learn to serve You with gladness for the sake of Him through whom all things were made, Thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.